Welcome back everyone, my name is Elsamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Skyrim. Where we left last time, we were on our way out of Morthal towards the Silverhand Leader down in Orotheim. It's a bit of a walk so we're going to begin our little journey. We're going south from here? No, we need, yeah, we're going the right way. Alright, we're good. We're going west. That's where we're supposed to go. The road here is a little bit... Spider filled. Triple spider, it looks like. Where is Lydia? Go, Lydia, go. Alright, sword time it is. Go, go. I'll come in afterwards. I'll sweep in, and I'll deal damage from a safe distance. Alright. Just random road spiders, that happens. Thought I heard a weird sound over there. There is a cave. Then again, loudness equalization's on, so I don't actually know which direction some sounds are coming from. Because it kind of screws up the directional sound. There's also some sort of weird mountain path up ahead, too. I mean, this is kind of the way we need to go, right? Sort of. We'll adventure on our way to the place we're supposed to go. That is the goal of Skyrim. Never do the main storyline. Spend the rest of the day. Finding new places to go. There's a dragon right there. Damn it. That's gonna be a hard no. We fought a dragon already and it sucked enough. Oh crap, that's a long way down. Let's carefully make our way down. So, like all Bethesda games, you can kind of just wall hump and get down just fine. There is a cave up here we can go to without. Hopefully facing off against the dragon. I think we'll be okay. There may or may not be enemies here. There is definitely an enemy here. It is a troll. Trolls are really tough, but they're also fighting something else. What are they fighting? That's a bad situation. Where's Lydia? Where is my tank? Lydia? Oh, there you are. I have a troll I need you to- Yes, sprint across the entire area and come face this troll for me. Don't get caught on a rock. Really? Well, I'm bringing you a troll to fight. Apparently you're going to fight the bear instead. Alright, you know what? We can face the bear. I don't mind. And I missed the bear. It's literally right in front of me. Okay. I'm glad that that detective carries us right into the path of that troll. That other troll is just kind of watching this unhap or un happen. Which I'm actually okay with. For the moment. Oh good, my dog's making extra growly sound effects by chasing his own tail. Lydia's still got tons of trolls regen, so we need fire. In all reality, trolls are on the ass to kill. Oh, it didn't die. We should make sure it stays down. We're gonna turn this back into a bloody mess of cuts. Aim for the legs. Sweep the legs. I'm so glad we have a tank. Otherwise it'd be so painful to do this. We'd literally be just stealth sniping the entire game. This legendary is annoying in that regard. We may turn the difficulty down later, which is actually a question that I wanted to ask. Some people suggested that difficulty down just for a fun streamlined game as opposed to a difficult game. 
would be preferable to sort of like a storyline driven game as opposed to an actual challenge in terms of difficulty. I'd like everyone else's uh, opinion on that. So I will read all the comments for this video in a couple by tomorrow. So it's going to be a quick poll because I want to do some more recording tomorrow. So quick poll, legendary or a lower difficulty to streamline the process. Up to you guys. I am completely impartial in this one. I've beaten Skyrim on Legendary before, and I've beaten it on Normal before. Both ways are fine with me. I like the story, and I like the quests. There are parts of it I haven't beaten yet, because I did, they weren't out when I beat it on other difficulties, but... All in all, I am good for whichever version hey, of the game. Look, a cave. Wonder what's inside. I said Brood Cave, so I'm gonna guess it's probably spiders or trolls. Let's get a little bit sneaky I've skill. A bad feeling about this. It's a troll. I hit it with an arrow. It is marginally angry. Luckily, our damage is pretty intense with a great sword. We need a better great sword, though, eventually. I walked backwards. Oh, yeah. Just smack it again. So, yeah, we're still in legendary for the moment. If you guys want me to turn down to, like, master, probably master is about as low as we go because it's. Master is still pretty, pretty easy. It's only really on Legendary that things get a little out of hand. So, let me know. I'm curious to see what you guys think about that. And again, either way doesn't matter to me. What's our weight doing? Okay, not too bad. A Dwarven bow, you say? 10 pounds, 270 gold, not bad. That's certainly worth it, and so is that potion. Oh, god. Okay. And so we play this smash it in the back until it dies game. Although we did level up, so we might do that and just see if we can't get a little bit more health. But more two-handed skill. What is our two-handed skill? 65. We can definitely... Not quite get to this one, which is unfortunate. We definitely can't get to the 81. Double critical damage. I guess we can do that too. Two handed power attacks while sprinting do a lot of damage. Double crit. We have such a low chance of actually like decapitating a troll though. I've almost never seen one get the uh, special two handed weapon crit for decapitation. Stop regenerating, just die. Alright, one left. How's Lydia's life doing? Lydia's hurting pretty bad, so we're gonna need to finish this off quickly. If the troll turns around and hits us, we are pretty much dead. It's like a one hit kill on us. Maybe two hits. She really, it really needs to go down before Lydia gets killed. And it did. So there. Troll corpse. We'll take the troll fat. It's useful for something. I just don't know exactly what at the moment. Apparently the hunter had some random junk too. The Black Arrow version 2. Isn't that a book that increases archery? It is not. Although we have two of them, so maybe it was, but it only works once. What can we drop? Uh, probably weapons. I'm gonna go ahead and say probably those dwarven bows, which are 27 pounds per... or 27 gold per pound. But that's way more than that. What else are we carting around that weighs a ton? Probably all this ore, actually. Oh, we didn't drop off the dragon bones. No wonder we're weighed down so much. We'll drop the wolf, or the bear pelt. It weighs a bunch as well. Deer and some other junk. What we'll do really quick is run back to Bree's home. Drop off the dragon bones. We don't really need to do anything other than drop off the bones, because they weigh a ton. They weigh over 100 pounds, I think. 
in total. It's not that far from here. Oh, whatever. I don't care about that. We can just go straight to Whiterun. And walk half a block forward into our house, drop the bones off, and say we're done. It's a cool looking mace. That's a dwarven mace. Or maybe that's an elvish mace? Oh. What the hell? Nope. That's a whole lot of nope. I'm getting out of here. Yep, me too. Mercy. Not fighting a master vampire. I'm good. We'll come back later. On that one. A master vampire will ruin our day. There we go. That's a lot of... Wait, did I take those? Oh. Oops. I did the opposite way. Yes. All of those and all of those. There we go. Now we're way lower on stuff. We're gonna sell those mammoth tusks. We have a lot of gold. It's only... It has no weight and only one value. We have 8,561 8, of them. And these gems we can't put away. They're just unable to be put away. I guess we can go see if we can face off against the Master Vampire and its thralls. Chances are the answer is no. What was that? I can't see anything. I don't know who's fighting who. I'm gonna crush you like a bug. Oh damn it! I hit someone. Can't see anything out here. Okay. We will just be more careful what we're swinging at. Oh, you can't see. Oh, right. We're stick off that mod. I guess we can do it right now. Hang on one sec. I'll take off that mod and we'll be right back. Here we go. Okay, we are back. It's clearly brighter. We can easily see what we're fighting now. That Darker Knights mod is cool, but... No, you're Bellathor. Damn it. Who the hell am I attacking here? Vampire Thrall. Why are people... Don't drain my life. Oh, are we fighting white ring guards? Okay, hang on, we hit the guards again. Group combat in this game is such a disaster. That's one thing I will say. We'll just wait for everyone to die. Here we go. And then we'll just fight what's left. Or we'll just shoot in. Which ones are the thralls? Damn it, it moved. That's a vampire. There we go. Oh, come on, that's Severio. It's stupid. Like it. Yeah, whatever. We're just gonna let the fight handle itself. We'll just sit back, let the fight happen. Not worry about it. We can't quick travel until the fight's over, anyways. Never should have come here. Okay, that's clearly a vampire, right? To us. Okay. Dude, don't friggin' run right into my blade. Oh crap, he's on me. Ah. I don't know where that dude's going, but he's gone. Oh crap, you're a vampire thrall. Okay, one down. Nope, that's a guard. That walked in the way of the attack. This game has problems with multiple attackers. At least we're kind of in a circle around him. Oh god. Then he, everyone moved. Oh, they gotta get hit the guard in the face. I don't think he minded though. He ran away. Now who's left? You 
I'm gonna crush you like a bug. You can't, you can't hide. There you are. Don't do that. There's a. Okay. That was painful. In the air. But won't be good. one. Ups. Never is. Finally, group combat is not the best in this game at all. Especially when the enemies will just like run right in the way of your attack. Okay, so it's 12 in the morning. We'll wait till the actual morning, sell some junk, get out of town. Go back to our adventuring, which is what we were supposed to be doing in the first place. The vampires are brazen though, attacking in daylight. Got some good pieces out here. I don't claim to be That's looking just to protect yourself or deal some damage. Yes. Actually, do you have anything good for once? Not looking like it. I'm gonna buy all your iron ingots though, I never have enough. They do have dwarven armor. Might have to pick that up, that's better than what we're wearing. How about dwarven greatsword? Dwarven greatswords are worse than our current weapons, but the dwarven armor is better. It's expensive, but we'll pick it up anyways because it is worth it. We'll just take dwarven metal ingots. Spend some of our money. And we'll sell some things back, like we are going to sell this war axe and these dwarven bows and those dwarven arrows because we don't need them. And what else? This lovely steel armor that we're not going to be using and this vampire armor quickening. Don't forget to check it. So now we're going to throw this dwarven armor on. We need to get pieces of dwarven armor to fit the rest of our slots, but we look really cool now. Like that's what the armor looks like on us. Pretty fancy. They say if a vampire so much as scratches you, you'll turn into one. Better not be true. That's not true, but you might turn into a vampire if you get the uh, vampire illness, whatever it's called. Take a good look around. I'm sh everything's for sale. Take a look. What do we get here? Right, we're selling things. Uh, we're selling that circlet. These robes, which are worth quite a bit, and some other junk like scrolls. How many can we sell? Probably two. One. We can sell two. Never mind, two. Speech 26. Nice. We're getting up there. We have a whole bunch of junk still. And we have gems and stuff. Actually, there's a. There should be come back. a jeweler in this town, isn't there? We can sell the jewels to her. She has money. Where is she? That's not her store. What are you doing that for? You're in my way. How about you get the hell out of my way, Nazim? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Yeah? Let's see here. A note from someone named Calselmo in Markarth. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay. What was it called? Damn it. Well, can't be me. Letter from Calselmo. It has come to my attention you may have recently acquired a certain dwarven armor from Whiterun. I'm not sure how such an object came to find itself resting there, but I've been trying to obtain one for my research. If you still have it, or if not, find another one. I'd be most appreciated if you were to bring it to me here in Marketh. I will pay you handsomely. Sincerely, Kelselmo. You tried mercenary work? How could you know that? I bought it three minutes ago. Markarth's way far away from here too, isn't it? This one way over here? Yeah. There's no way you knew that just randomly. He's got spies with magic. Not okay. Anyways, we're gonna move on. We'll sell some gems later. Who's that? There's a poor Khajiit here who did not make it to wherever he was going. There's just a mammoth tusk sitting out of the ground. Sticking out of the ground? Whatever you want to call it. Where are we going, though? I think I might have taken a slightly wrong turn. Or maybe not, who knows. Let's see how this goes. Let's just get up there. Um, this is looking pretty steep, but I think if we're careful, we can get up over here. Oh, we're so close. No. Yes. Maybe. It looks like we're going upwards. Or 
Or not, we're stuck. There we go. Damn it, now we're actually stuck. Alright, that worked out pretty well. Now the mountain in question should be right around here somewhere. Well that's looking pretty grim. That looks like a dead werewolf there. Guessing that's where we're going. This is looking like it's not an okay place. Jesus! <laughs> I didn't know. That scared the shit out of me actually. I wasn't expecting that when I turned around. Where did that bear come from? I know Lydia's probably like 8,000 miles away from here, but where did that bear even come from? Oh, it's up there. I see. We're running. Here we go. No, we're not going to get up. Okay. If we want to survive this, which we can. Bear's just over here somewhere. I think it's detected us. At this point, I don't think we can just... Sneak attack it. We can, however, just shoot it in the face until it dies. Oh, that hit in the junk. I think I just hit it in the junk. I'm sorry, bear. Not cool, I know. Bear has way too much health. That's a lot of arrows in his head. I like how I don't have to really aim. I can just sort of shoot that general direction and hit it every time. Maybe Lydia will show up before the end. Actually, if we kill the bear, we might be able to quick travel to the cave and then she'll be there, hopefully. Unless she's in a town for some reason. Oh no, there she is, finally. Alright, we're good. Not anticipating finding a bear here. Sorry, bear. I honestly didn't mean to kill you. In my defense, you kind of attacked me. Alright. Now we can go into the cave, probably. To Orothime. Orothime? Orotheme? Arothium? It's one of those things. Oh, that's more Dawn Guard. Oh, wait, how much weight can we carry? Okay, we should be able to carry a good amount of swords. If not, we'll just drop a couple of things that are not worth that much. Right in the back of the head. You found me! How did you know we were here? We can kill this guy before that- oh, he's an archer. Are you telling me I can't jump over arrows as they're coming in? Ha! I think I will, assuming you don't hit me with an arrow. That's a mage. Okay. That takes care of all those so far. We're not going to take the armor. Oh, that's unfortunate. Nope. Holy crap, that hurt. Fight Lydia, damn it. How do I get up there? She's got really cool armor. Also, she hits like a truck with a dagger. Look at her arms, they're like... chuck meat. She's 
She just got all the blood. It's not enough. If you get back up, you'll definitely kill me. All right, let's take a look what she had. She had a dwarven war axe. She didn't have a. Well, she does have a dagger as well. She has an elven dagger. Fair. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some of these things before we get too far into this cave, and then we'll go kill back. Or we'll go back and kill those extra archers and see what else there is for loot. But silver swords, for sure, are being taken. The rest of it's kind of worthless. Ooh, an elven shield. Wait for it. That's not bad at all. Alright. Where... Where is everybody? You won't get the best of me. Are they up there? How are they up there? I think Lydia's fighting them, which is kind of unfortunate because I want to be fighting them. But how do they get there? I want oh there. Oh, okay, I see. There's a side hallway. Are you prepared to die? Stop bugging out. It's really weird. Nope. Uh, you're faster than I am, but I have stabbed you in the back. Okay. A satchel with some garbage that we're going to take. And another soul. They have a lot of soul gems for a quote unquote good organization killing werewolves. All right. Let's go see what's in the giant chest, and then I think we're pretty much done here. We can go turn the quest in and call it a video. We did pretty good. We need to sell some stuff. Ooh, an orc axe. I'll take that. And I'll take the draught of strength. And... The coin purse, of course. It's got 29 bucks in it. Alright, what's in the chest? Orcish boots of shock abatement. Those are actually quite nice. Steel armor of... Yeah, those are good too. Alright, we're gonna have to drop something that's not... Enchanted. What can we drop? How much weight do we need? We need th uh, 32 pounds gone. Our biggest contributors are, of course, our weapons and armor, but we may be able to do things like get rid of this bear pelt. Good start. This flute. This rune book. Those ropes are worth a fortune. That Horker Tusk isn't worth all that much. All those books are important. Troll Fat isn't all that important. We can get more later. We can always go kill more trolls. Skeever Hide, gone. Bone Meal, we don't need that much anyways. Quill, I don't even know why we have a quill on us. And everything's getting into the point fives, so we need something bigger to drop. That's only four pounds. Um, we kind of need a pickaxe. Okay, we can get rid of the axe. It's not, it's cool, but it's not really super weight effective and neither is the dwarven war axe. So that puts us at limit, done. 10 pounds below the limit or so. Let's get out of here, go turn the quest in and then we can also sell some things, but I'll do that between videos because that is not the most exciting thing in the world. So yeah, also I'd like to reiterate before we call the video just shortly after turning this quest in, legendary or not legendary, that is the question. Weigh in within the next day or, well I mean realistically we can just change it back to legendary later if like a handful of people are like, just master, and then an overwhelming amount of people are like, legendary a few days later, we can just change it back. We might miss a couple of videos of legendary, but that's not a big deal. So, weigh in in the comments below, and I'll uh, take it into account. Whichever one gets sort of the more opinion towards legendary or master will be that difficulty's winner. That's it. Unofficial, easygoing poll. I've been running interference for you around here. Have you been bringing the battle to the Silver Hand, friend? 
I wish I could be there with you. Take care of them. Soon enough. Excellent. Looks like you've really driven them into hiding. Keep this up. We'll wipe them out yet. Will we though? It seems like I'm doing a lot of the work here. What's the next target? Good that you're so eager. I've caught wind that one of the brighter silver hand has been sniffing around the rift. If you can sneak into their camp and steal her plans, we'll have the advantage. Sounds like a lot of work. We'll do it later. Alright, that's going to be the end of our video here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others, I'll see you all next time. Take care, and have a wonderful night.